Hi Maggie here. I thought I'd just do a little talk through of the Princess album that you might have seen on Ho Chanda. I used the Graphic 45 collection Princess, the 8x8 paper pads, but I did also use some of the patterns and solids from the 12x12 paper pad and I've also used some of the clear craft plastic by Graphics which we have which is absolutely fabulous. So the front cover <coughs> I've cut through, I've done a lot of fussy cutting just to build up the elements so they're building up, give more dimension to the actual cover. Then inside, the inside cover here, we have a lift up flap, a nice new little photo corners here which you might like, which you'll be, co be coming very soon. And then here, this is from our album journal stamp set. This album was made especially for and that's a secret at the moment by Mighty Maggie, which was me, and April 2020. And then this flap here is actually from a piece of the craft plastic. So I've stuck my decorative paper straight down onto it using artist tack. But then when you come around the other side, you can see the back of the decorative paper. I haven't had to use another sheet. And then I've got a photo mat here. And these it was actually cut from our photo slot dies. So that's one there, and then another little storage pocket here. Pull out, and our new photo corners as well. Okay, so on this side, we have a little frame with a little mat that pulls out. And again, you'll see on here, it says place photo here. That's from one of our album journal stamps. And the Perfect Mighty Corners are using our Perfect Mighty tool. Okay, and then these are your page tabs that pull out because these are pocket pages and on here you've got a little tab that says pull at the top, I'm just going to make it a little bit larger so you can see at the top it says photographs and then at the bottom it says who went where so you're able to record everything for when you'd like to so we'll just go back, back the other way so we can incorporate everything Okay, so we'll pop that page back, page tab back in there, and I've got those in all of the pocket pages. So here I've just used a decorative band at the bottom and the top. The next page, <coughs> here I have some different photo slots cut in. Again, these are a bit of a sneaky peek, and here's one of our little journal stamps. This time it says, What's in here? On the next page, this is an ephemera card that's been mounted onto our clear craft plastic so I had the decorative image actually stuck down and when you lift the flap you've got the ephemera card here stamped onto it who when where but you can actually write on this this is such a versatile product and it's brilliant for album making so that's that there and I just have a little ephemera card in here the pocket here and then there's also a little tiny pocket here and of course lots and lots of glossy accents. So the next page, this is using our square pocket locket dies. Take the central circle off and then you can open these up and you've got more frames inside. And again it's saying place your photo here, remember when, who, when, where. So lots of little different elements for you to store all your precious pictures, different sizes, different shapes and they're held down with little magnets. This page here, this is also on craft plastic. Uh, is it? No, it's not. It's normal card. Okay, so we've got a photo mat here, which takes your larger Graphic 45 um, ephemera cards, photo slot die, sorry. That's one of our existing ones. And you can see it again here. And then here, you can lift the flap. And there's more storage here. And these are the smaller photo slot dies that again take the smaller sized ephemera cards and they come in a set and that's a little envelope that I made just to hold spare photographs. I, when I first started out working with this collection I wasn't too sure but the more I got into it the more I really enjoyed using it. Okay so here I've got horizontal pockets so I just went a bit mad. Contrasting patterns here and here and then the um, goldie crowns just to take the the busyness of the pattern away. Ephemera card here. Little envelope here that I've made that says Open Me, which is one of our little journal stamps again, and that pops in there. 
and I've used one of these stickers from the collection. On here I've made a ribbon board page and this is using, if I take all these bits up you can see it's actually the signature page behind and then beautiful grow grain ribbon. Make sure you use a good quality ribbon because when I very first started out I used to use um, a cheaper type of ribbon and it does um, degrade after time and it will spoil your project. So these little things just fit in here and again these little envelopes are all part of the collection pack and this has got some more of our journal stamps photo bits and pieces go through here <clears throat> and this one's a little pull out using the ephemera cards and then you've also got a pocket here as well and this one as well I think is is that a pocket yes there's also a pocket underneath there as well and this is actually another of the ephemera cards stuck on the front onto our clear acetate oops and that's gone wobbly so let's just stick that straight so that's that so we'll pop that one in there this page this is using the clear craft plastic it's a really strong plastic it's not like bendy acetate so I fussy cut and mounted on the front here but you can see a different background behind and then over here you can see the papers here pretty decorative border and again I've got ephemera cards which have been mounted onto the craft plastic it gives it a really lovely finish and then you can write on the back so my brain is working overtime thinking Ooh, what else can I do and then if you look here this continues through we've paper matched we've continued the, the pattern here onto this page and here we've just cut out into the actual image itself for another tuck in so on this page we've actually got a lift up flap okay so I'll just pull it that's it so when you can see so the top again will be able to hold your ephemera card your six by four photos and then here we've got a little set of pockets to hold various things in place and then on the back cover again we've done the same as the inside front cover we've got a little um photo here with special photo corners and again you've got your photo mats photo corners there and there but you can see that background there this background here is actually the background of this paper but it's been stuck onto the clear, clear craft plastic and then that's it there so i hope you've enjoyed the little walkthrough thanks for joining me